In the KTSM 9 News Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Robert Bettis. We have a high wind warning in effect. We also have a dust storm warning in effect until 2.30 this afternoon. Visibility has been down to under a quarter of a mile, especially out in Santa Teresa and other areas where new construction is horizon. This dust storm warning is in effect for El Paso, Doña Ana, as well as Otero counties. That will last until 2.30, except the wind warning lasts until 9 o'clock tonight. Here are the current gusts. 52 miles per hour at the airport, 55 Las Cruces, 48 Juarez, 41 Alamogordo, 45 miles per hour T or C, close to 50 miles per hour in Deming. The peak gust so far today, just before 1 o'clock this afternoon, 70 miles per hour at the International Airport. What's going on? Yesterday, this low pressure system was over California. That's how fast it's moved. It's already moving into western New Mexico, and of course, it's pulling all of that colder air with it. We peaked today with temperatures actually in the 70s. We were as warm as 75 at one point with that peak gust, 75 Juarez, 70 Las Cruces, 64 Deming, but already look how much the temperatures have dropped. We're at 57 at the airport, 46 degrees out in Deming, 38 Silver City with snow and 49 Tier C. Now don't look for any rain or snow down here in the borderland. It's simply going to be a wind event. Those snow showers will be up in the mountains of the Gila wilderness only, but we can expect the temperatures to plunge overnight tonight as that cold front continues to come in. On the wind damage side, we have numerous reports of power outages. In fact, if you'd like to see areas, we've got a map to show you. This is the current map from ElPasoElectric.com. Uh, you can see where the yellow areas are. Those are major outages, red areas, even bigger outages. Now, El Paso Electric is scrambling to get to every single area that has been knocked out. They are dealing with quite a few power lines that are down throughout the city, one of which is at Porfirio Diaz. If you're trying to take that exit near downtown, you can't take it because there is a live wire power line in the way. Don't approach those power lines. El Paso Electric is on it. You can let them know, but if you can't get through, they're already aware of the situation and have all the crews out working as we speak. Let's show you some text dot traffic cameras right now. Uh, the winds are actually a little better than they were earlier this afternoon, so the dust level is not quite as bad as it was just a few hours ago. That's not stopping our camera from shaking violently at I-10 and America's Drive. Here is I-10 uh, right uh, near the Spaghetti Bowl area uh, where traffic is moving smoothly, but that dusty haze, it'll take a while to settle. Now, KTSM has crews literally all over the place. We called everybody in to cover this story. Uh, we have video of a tree, for example, in central El Paso that went down, and unfortunately, it went right onto their car and into their home, and we've had numerous reports of this. We've got people in the field trying to capture every possible damage story that we can possibly collect. I was in Santa Teresa and got video of what looked like a, uh, just a, an apocalyptic zone where drivers had to slow down to almost 10 miles per hour and turn their lights on because the dust was so bad. Now KTSM will have everything packaged up for you uh, tonight at 5 o'clock, a full report, team coverage. Uh, more information is going on our website constantly at KTSM.com. Go to KTSM.com and you can download the app. Of course, you can follow me on social media and we'll give you all the weather alerts as they come in. Stay with KTSM 9 News through the afternoon for continuous updates.